What's up folks, Kevin here, Tattoo Toy Hunter, coming to you today with an unboxing video. I have some uh, packages from some really, really good friends, fellow collectors, Judson Osgood, and also uh, Christian, which is known as Hot Cheetos Fingers on YouTube. Make sure to check him out. I'll post his uh, link down below. Amazing content, uh, such an amazing uh, creator as well and customizer. Really love his work. So anyway, that uh, both of these gentlemen were looking out for me. There was some WWE uh, figures that I wanted that were on clearance at uh, Walmart and at GameStop. So each of them uh, found them for me and was able to pick them up and mail them to me. So I'm just so grateful that we have a, a toy community like we do that we look out for each other. So props to all my tag team brothers. So anyway, I want to go ahead and um, open up the packages. First one's going to be from my buddy Hot Cheetos Fingers. This was a flashback wave, the Finkel wave, actually. Uh, I wanted to pick it up, which is four figures, and uh, use the Build-A-Figure to actually make a custom. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. As you see here, we had the first one is Ted DiBiase, which is the Million Dollar Man, looking really good here. And he comes with uh, basically the torso of Finkel, which is very nice looks like it's fairly easy to put together so very cool figure let's go ahead and continue on so as you see here it's it's basically a basic i believe uh single elbow single knee it looks like the jacket does snap off but it's got an excellent uh little decal on the back portraying his uh greed for money <laughs> But uh, excellent figure, so let's go ahead and pull the next one out. I'm going to just dig through the bubble wrap and uh, see what we have here. I really appreciate how he wrapped these. Each and every one of them were carefully wrapped, and they made it really safe all the way to South Texas. So next one we have is Ravishing Rick Rude. Uh, I used to love watching these guys back in their day of wrestling. He was a fun one to watch. He had that... Uh, Ravishing neck breaker <laughs> was a really cool finisher at the time So there he goes looking good nice outfit great paint on him Very cool. They got the tattoo on there. So a lot of detail for a basic figure and here is the lower body of Finkel Which I'm glad that it's not it's only four figures to put them together and not six or seven So it looks fairly easy to put in you just got to port these two pieces together Kind of not wanting to go in, but I'm sure I can get it to, to pop in there. So looking really good so far. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out the next figure and uh, see what we got here. I'm going to have to, this one's taped up really well. So let's go ahead and slice through this really quick. And uh, this is one of my favorite old time wrestlers, which is Sergeant Slaughter. He had his own, I believe he, uh, did he have his own show? I remember him coming out in G.I. Joe as well, and he was just such a great personality. He looks really good. He comes with the arms, which is cool because one of them actually has the microphone attached. I like that. Also, he has his uh, headgear, so if you want it when he turned heel, and glasses. So he looks really good. Love these little accessories. I'm sure I can use them. Sergeant Slaughter. Wouldn't it be cool to get a six inch GI Joe's with a little more articulation? That would be awesome. So that's three of them. Just gotta snap the arms in into the sockets here, but we'll get it put together here. Pretty, pretty tight to force in there. You really got to push them in. So anyway, I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, I'll get it to stay. It's giving me a little trouble on the left side. <laughs> so anyway, he looks really good. All right. And the last figure here. Is gonna be Cowboy Bob Orton. I don't really recall watching him too much in his time, but uh, he's a cool figure nonetheless. I love that he comes with the the hat. 
Now, I found three of the four of these at my Walmart on clearance, but they didn't have the fourth, so I kind of passed on them. But luckily, Hot Cheetos Fingers was able to pick up all four for me. So here he is, basic figure. Looks really good. Love the hat as an accessory. So these are the four figures. I think they look, uh, they came out really well for basics. I definitely want to collect all the classic players, the classic wrestlers. And here's Finkel's head sculpt. I think it looks really good. I love the mustache. So let's go ahead and put him together. And here we have him. We're here with the legendary one and only WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Howard Finkel. Hi, Joe. How you doing? Good. How are you doing, Howard? I'm doing fine. Looking forward to this interview. Now we're here at Rhode Island Comic Con. Legendary commentator Howard Finkel, and he looks really good. Uh, I may, if I can pick up this wave again, I would like to use the body mold to make a Mean Gene as my plan. There was a Mean Gene flashback series wave, and uh, Seth Rollins actually comes with Mean Gene's head. So if I can just get the head, I would uh, make him. So next package we're going to open up is going to be my buddy Judson's figure, Fear the Beard, <laughs> our fearless beard king. And uh, he sent me a really nice card. It's hilarious. I really appreciate that. And it's medical. So that's really cool. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> and he also uh, was shopping at a GameStop. And I had commented that I was looking for a specific figure that was on clearance there. And he found it. I couldn't find it at mine at the time. And he picked it up for me. He also sent me in a little extra, which I really appreciated. I wasn't expecting it. It was a surprise, and I really love it. I've seen these figures before, the Barf Buddies. <laughs> these are really cool-looking monsters, and you can actually put slime in them, and they pour out, and they got, like, eyeballs, and it's just a really cool figure. I love the box it comes in, like if it's being held captive, imprisoned. Here's the wave. Now that he sent me this one, I definitely probably want to get the rest. And here's the, the trigger in the back. You can pull the little plunger, and it makes him, as you can see, open the mouth. It's really, really cool. So I want to go ahead and open this box up real quick and take a, a better look at him. So let's see. I'm going to pull my knife out, cut the little piece of tape. I really want to keep this box in a condition, though, because the box is so cool. I think it would look good to display the box as well, just on the account of all the decals all over it the way it was printed all right so let me just here's the the goo so i just gotta force this plunger through the the back of the box and we should be able to get them out and again i really appreciate this judson just taking the time and sending it my way Everything well packaged. So this booger is, there we go. Got him out and look how cool he looks. I love the paint on him. I love the, the sculpt. Look at all the stuff in the goo. You know, it's awesome. I don't want to pull it out right now and make a huge mess, but definitely looks like a lot of fun. And I uh, definitely want to pick up the other few characters that come in this little wave. There's the box. Really nice looking. All right, so. Aside from this gentleman here, this is the figure that I, I've been wanting for a while. I'm going to go ahead and pull out of the box here. And I have a lifetime supply of bubble wrap now. <laughs> I need to figure out a place to save all this bubble wrap so when I send my stuff off, I won't ever have to buy any again, apparently. All right, so still in the GameStop bag. I appreciate that. And as you could probably already see, it's one of the, the WWE uh, retro figures. I love how they come in this this box here. It looks so cool. Like an 48 old... longitude. 48 longitude. 36 latitude. 36 latitude. Go, go, go. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Who's, where's that voice coming from? Happy 4th of July weekend, everybody. It's going to be a blast. And as you can tell, it is Macho Man Randy Savage, one of my favorite old school wrestlers he was such a personality i just got a kick out of every time he'd talk oh yeah macho man randy savage i love that he comes with the stars and stripe outfit the cowboy hat 
and his glasses are amazing. Here he is out of the box. Look how great he looks. I am like super impressed with him. Double knee. He's got some great articulation, as you can tell. You can really get that leg back there. They did a great job. I wish they could have painted the pins to match the outfit, but I'm still very happy. Look at the accessories. Sorry that I'm shaky. But uh, that cowboy hat is amazing. I actually saw someone in uh, our toy group called Plastic Animals post a picture of his uh, Marvel Legends Deadpool, the one in boxers, wearing these uh, sunglasses and cowboy hat. Um, I always thought it was really cool that he did that, so I, I really wanted to try that on my own when I got this figure. So look how well he looks. I think this outfit may snap off here. It's really good looking. Definitely a very cool character to, to add to my WWE collection. All vintage wrestlers. Of course, uh, he's no longer with us, so that was a shame to lose him at a fairly young age. But excellent, excellent figure to, to represent him in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Deadpool. And here we have Deadpool, Boxer's Deadpool with the hat and the glasses. And I think it looks hilarious. It's uh, totally Deadpool's personality to do something silly like this. <laughs> so I, I really wanted to try this out. So here we go. This is uh, what I unboxed today from my really good friends. Again, I want to give a shout out to Judson and Christian uh, Hot Cheetos Fingers on YouTube. Make sure to check them out. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed pick getting these uh, figures and I can't wait, can't wait to display them. Still looking for a ring, but... Can't wait to display these guys. Very, very, uh, very happy with this unboxing. So anyway, guys, this is Kevin the Tattoo Hunter. Never give up that hunt. Pew, 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 pew. Y'all take care.